Okay, so now what we're gonna do, um, this recipe is gonna be a spatchcock chicken, uh, which is basically just a split chicken with some summer vegetables, potatoes, a little bit of fresh thyme, some garlic, and we're gonna roast it in the oven, in our Dutch oven. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my vegetables, and you can cut them however size you want. I'm gonna cut a zucchini or yellow squash in half, and then I'm gonna make triangles, a little bit thick. Because this is gonna roast in the oven, it's gonna be in there, it's gonna cook for about an hour, an hour and a half, depending again on the temperature. But my oven now is about 500. So the nice thing with doing something like this is if you're making pizzas during the day, you have company, and then you wanna cook something at night, you can prepare this after your oven comes down in temperature a little bit. I'm gonna get this into my Dutch oven. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice heavy Dutch oven. So that's gonna conduct heat, but you don't want it to be a, a thinner one that uh, will burn very quickly. So I'm just gonna get all my vegetables into the Dutch oven. Got some beautiful homegrown uh, zucchini. And then I'm just gonna slice it. Take some carrots. So nice sweet carrots. I'm gonna add these to the Dutch oven. A couple of potatoes. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion, get a little bit of red onion for a little bit of sweetness. I have a couple of garlic cloves. And I'm just gonna take the garlic cloves. I'm just gonna smash them down. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper and some olive oil. Okay, you can take a spoon of your tongues, just mix it up, just to get them coated. So we have some nice, fresh summer vegetables. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take just a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme. And I like thyme with chicken. It's one of my favorite flavor profiles. And I'm just gonna lay down a couple of fresh sprigs across the top of the vegetables. What we'll be able to do after we roast and we get that flavor is we'll be able to remove them later on, make it a little bit easier. Whole chicken here, spatchcock basically is just split down the back end. So what I'm gonna do with my bony knife, if you, work, if you go to a butcher shop, they'll do this for you, no problem. I'm just gonna feed my knife straight down the back bone so the tip comes out of the neck. I'm gonna pull it back, turn it over, Split it, and then I'm just gonna split the breastbone. Okay. I'm gonna cut the backbone out. Then what I'm gonna do is just split the breastbone and the cartilage. I'm gonna remove it. Okay. Get that out. Now I have a nice split chicken. Uh, a lot of times I'll cut off the wing tips. I'm gonna take some salt and pepper. Season the cavity. So now I got it split, salt and pepper seasoned. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna lay it right on top of my vegetables. I'm just gonna put a little bit more salt on the top, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna put a touch of olive oil across the top. And then I'm gonna take about four ounces of white wine and I'm gonna pour it in the bottom. Okay, so we have our chicken in the Dutch oven. It's all set now. All we need to do is cover it and place it in the oven. So when I roast or I bake or whatever, this is gonna take a little bit of time. I'm not looking so much for that direct heat. So I'm gonna put this off to the side of the oven. So I'm gonna place it here. With the peel that I have, that I move my my wood around with, I'm just gonna push it back, and I got it set off to the side. Now I don't really have to worry about it. I'm gonna let it roast. I'm gonna keep my oven temperature at around 500, 550, and we'll let that go for a little while. And now you can sit down and enjoy yourself. Okay, so now the chicken's been in for about an hour, hour and ten minutes. What I want to do now is just check the internal temperature of my chicken. So I'm just going to pull it out. Got a roaster. Starting to get some nice color on it. Take my uh, electric thermometer. Beautiful. We're at 175 degrees, 176 degrees. So our chicken's done. We know our chicken's done. 
what I'm going to do now, since we know our chicken's done, it looks beautiful in here, but I want to put a little more color to it. So I'm going to put it back in the oven near the fire just to get a little bit of uh, a little bit more color on my chicken. All right, so we're about 60 seconds uncovered in the oven. Let's see how she's looking. Oh, I think you guys are going to be happy with this one. Beautiful. So we have our chicken. We have some nice color to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken out. I'm going to put on my cutting board. Now I still like to let it sit for a couple of minutes just to let the juices go. I have a serving dish here. I'm going to take my vegetables. Well, first, what I'm going to do, I remove my sprigs of fresh thyme. We have our summer vegetables. We'll put in here. Again. Take my chef knife. Just to give a little bit of color. 